Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and uh, you might hear a little bit more of an echo in this room because I'm clearing it all out. For those of you out there who are coming back to the channel, uh, you probably know that I'm in the process of moving right now. So videos today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, going to be kind of all over the place, but I'm going to be creating content. Just don't know how much and where I'll be until I get settled in. But all that uh, you probably already know that if you've been on a live stream or former video. If it's your first time dropping in, welcome. Uh, you're uh, always welcome to join our channel here and uh, just hit that subscribe button. Give the uh, video a thumbs up if you get some value. So you probably saw from the thumbnail in this video, we're going to talk about the 10 biggest crypto partnerships. Came across an interesting article and figured, hey, this would be kind of cool to deliver this uh, to my audience here and uh, provide some analysis around each one of these partnerships that we go through. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. There's some really big ones, some we've covered on the channel, some we've touched on here and there, others maybe have fallen through the cracks that uh, were kind of news to me, which uh, are pretty cool. And, and we'll talk about those. Um, just all I ask for you, again, give the video a thumbs up if you get some value, subscribe to the channel. And uh, also, I wanna hear from you down in the comments, what do you think the biggest partnership is here in 2021, biggest crypto partnership uh, let me know your thoughts down below, and it might be one of these that we mentioned. Who knows? It could be another one that doesn't even pop up on this list, but definitely want your thoughts there down below in the comment section. And uh, without further ado, let's jump over. Oh, yeah, real quick. Uh, we've got the Patreon uh, supporter insider levels linked down in the description. Come join our private community. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. 10 biggest crypto partnerships in 2021. Okay. So since the start of 2021, there have been dozens of crypto partnerships that should change the space forever. So they've narrowed it down to 10. Okay, because cryptos to crypto partnerships don't really do much to increase the adoption of cryptocurrencies as a whole, I haven't included them in this post. Okay, so first and foremost, we've got Reddit and Ethereum. This is a big one and I talked about this pretty recently in a recent Ethereum update video. I will be talking more and more about Ethereum moving forward, about the things on the horizon leading up to Ethereum 2.0. Uh, as you all know, if you're not new here, I am a huge, huge Ethereum bull, and uh, partnering up with Reddit here uh, is going to be fantastic for Ethereum. Uh, Reddit plans to do like kind of a point system uh, that uh, so here, let, let's just read actually. The, go the goal of this partnership is to create a specialized scaling solution for Ethereum that will be used to distribute community points uh, to read its 430 million monthly users. The first significant crypto to private sector partnership to happen this year was the partnership between Reddit and Ethereum. This was back in January. So super cool. And as I mentioned, I will probably be providing more details uh, on Ethereum in these next couple months because there are so many things in the works right now for ETH 2.0, uh, EIP 1559, you name it, the August 4th deadlines. I can't wait. Uh, Ethereum, one of my favorites. Oh, it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get a whole lot better, I think. Uh, so for those unfamiliar, Reddit's community point system uh, is designed to incentivize quote quality posts and comments, and Ethereum will be partnering with them to help them do that. Uh, super, super cool. Community points on Ethereum to incentivize positive behavior in their community. I think it's a great idea. So that is the big partnership number one. Number two, VisaCircleCrypto.com. If you've been here on the channel, we've talked about the Crow Coin, super bullish on it. I will be providing more and more updates on the Crow Coin as well. And Anchorage. So this is the second significant crypto to private sector partnership. The goal of this one to make possible for selectcrypto.com clients to pay for goods and services in USDC directly using their crypto debit cards. Crypto.com, definitely brewing something really, really tasty, uh, especially if you like coffee. Uh, you see what I did there? Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely one that I'm gonna be invested in for the long term. As always though, do your own due diligence on it and uh, let me know your thoughts below on the Crow Coin as well down in the comments section. Okay, so basically instead of needing to touch base with a bank every time uh, that Visa is essentially doing, it, what, is, uh, what Visa is essentially doing is using Ethereum as a de facto layer, layer two for the financial system, wherein USDC can be shuffled around between payment parties and then converted to USD and then to the bank of the client's choice. 
Okay, so that's another one going on. Then we've got NY Dig and NCR, the New York Digital Investment Group and the National Cash Register happened in June. And this is the third significant crypto partnership. The goal of this one to make possible for every American to buy and sell cryptocurrencies directly from their bank accounts. That's the goal. They're still far off from that goal, but uh, this is the first step in that direction. Very, very cool. Love that. And I do think eventually credit card companies are going to offer the ability to go to an ATM, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever those top currencies end up being, XRP or uh, whatever, right? I think that's, that, that is somewhere in the future, okay, in, in my opinion. All right, so we scroll down here. We'll find the next one. Stellar in Ukraine, the first significant crypto to public sector partnership happened this year was a partnership between Stellar and the Ukrainian government back in January. The goal of this one, to develop a central bank digital currency or CBDC for Ukraine's 44 million citizens. Another big reason why a lot of people are bullish on Stellar Lumens. Okay, so we'll keep it moving here. There's the Stellar chart. Cardano and Ethiopia, the next big partnership, the second significant crypto to public sector that uh, came out was the partnership between Input Output Hong Kong, uh, IOHK, and the government of Ethiopia in April. This was big, uh, basically keeping all of the Ethiopian students' data on a blockchain so they can uh, follow and track their progress in the school systems, which is really neat. All right, so we'll continue to go on here. And Strike and El Salvador, the third biggest Crypto to public sector partnership here to happen this year. The partnership between Strike and the government of El Salvador. This was in June. Then we had the bill to make Bitcoin the legal tender passes in El Salvador. Of course, they have that in the USD, USD now, which is just awesome. All right, so Crypto.com, how about this? Sponsors MTL, the Montreal Canadiens hockey team in March. Crypto.com is all over this thing. Uh, Canadian Bitcoin ETF adds to holdings despite steep market correction. Uh, so this was a big partnership between a team. Then we had Tezos sponsorship with Red Bulls Formula One. That was in May. Uh, that was interesting. Another sports-related concept uh, as it circles around NFTs. Then FTX sponsoring Major League Baseball. They became the official crypto sponsor of the MLB. And we've got some other ones here. We'll scroll down. Crypto.com sponsors the UFC. The 10-year partnership worth $175 million. This is big. Uh, we talked a lot about this on the channel. Look at that. That is sweet. Uh, Crypto.com has 10 million active users, a little bit over that number now. And I would expect this to blow it up in terms of the number of users Crypto.com is going to see in the next several years, just naturally because of crypto's growth was going to go up about, well, so far the last five years, it's gone up about 2 million users per year. I see that number going up to now 4 million users per year. Again, speculating here, but I think that's how big this UFC partnership could be. I think it could double their active users per year over the next five. And I think that is still pretty conservative. Now, the, here's the uh, just kind of a brief conclusion. So hopefully you got some value here. Let me know your favorite partnership so far in 2021. It's great to kind of take a look at uh, this list and we can see how crypto is becoming more and more part of our society. Again, let me know your thoughts there down below in the comment section and I will see you all in the next one.